All right, we are back. I am your host, Mid, and we are playing Grim Dawn. I finished the main campaign storyline, and now I'm just wrapping up a couple of side quests I had. Before I go mess around, I think I'm going to try out the cru uh, Crucible. See how that is. That's locked. Oh, I didn't go in in time. Apparently, it's on a timer. All right, I got to go build another skeleton key. <laughs> okay. Not the kind of thing I wanted to do, but all right, I wasted a skeleton key. Okay. Let's see. Skeleton key. Excellent. All right. Sell all this garbage. These are all standard or common components. Excellent. All right. Okay. Let's go try this again since I wasted a skeleton key, which was really stupid of me. Alright, let's try this again. I can't open that. In this session. Oh, okay. Bloody hell. Alright, never mind on that one. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and redo this session. Just to run down here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go try uh, Crucible. All right, so let me exit to main menu. And let's go to Crucible. Accept. Start. Should be interesting. I just want to give this a try. See how this goes. Uh, let me get buffed up here. Greetings, and welcome to my crucible. I have seen your potential, and I am most intrigued. So I've summoned you here to battle for my amusement. <laughs> but I am not a cruel master. Succeed, and you shall be rewarded with vast wealth. Fail. And know only my score. Okay, let's try. They're getting a little quick. Display. 
Oh, don't get hit by him. and see how it goes. Hit the wrong button. The crucible claims another. That's interesting. Not sure how much XP I got for running this, but hey.
case. Interesting on him. Uh, what are tributes? Currency of the Crucible. Earn your master's favor, master's favor, and you shall be rewarded with tributes based on your performance. I see. Okay. Nope. Not doing anything with him. Okay. Is this on the other side? Ancient inventor, curse smith, illusionist. I think I'm done. What is this? Score. Okay. Go. Take your pitiful earnings and get out of my sight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was interesting. I don't think I'm going to do it a ton, but it's kind of fun for to change things up occasionally. All right. So let's go back out to main menu. So we should be able to... Go to Elite. Awesome. Better increases the normal difficulty for experiencing your RPG. Right. Higher level of challenge for characters that have completed normal slash veteran. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do veteran. And sure, why not? Let's start a veteran normal campaign and see how that goes. Now, I want to do Let's do elite cuz I think that starts it over if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Cool. All right, so it starts it over at the beginning. Awesome. Still drawing breath, I see. Your one lucky bastard. Uh, Vitter is just a harder mode for normal. He is next Captain stage. Broden okay, cool. Right That's what I thought. So cool. Thanks for verifying, though. There, D Rock. Life. You were. He's um up the road, in the courtyard. You're not looking too bad for someone just come back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creatures that have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally I'd have burned you with the rest to be safe, but we've lost too many people to the dead. I need someone expendable, someone with nothing to lose but a lot to gain. Right now, you are that person. Mm. Prove your worth to me, and the survivors of Devil's Crossing may just welcome you. The bodies of the dead are rising again in some horrible unlife. Corpses don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is sure reanimating they do. <laughs> our deceased with ethereal energy. We have observed the dead for some time, and they appear to be flooding lower crossing from the burial hill just beyond town. I want you to go to the burial hill 
find whatever is controlling these abominations and destroy it. You will need to fight your way through Lower Crossing. Once you've crossed the stream on the far side of town, there will be a beat. Okay. I don't really need to keep going on that. I know what I'm supposed to do. here and uncover this area. area Ooh. sure ah and I died quick <laughs> ah. yeah that didn't go as, as planned <laughs> Secret area, secret area. Oh, and I had my, oh, I did not hit my friggin, I had the wrong bar on. <laughs> oh, 
I had my buff bar on, I didn't switch it back, so of course I died quickly, because I couldn't fire off any of my abilities. I'm a dingus. Back this way. Just me being super stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, hey, why am I not firing off my abilities? Oh, because I'm on my buff bar and that's not going to do anything offensive. So, yeah. Much better. That works when you actually have your skill bar up, right? Oh, get out of the poison! Ah! Ah, get out of poison! Um... Come on, let me shoot at him. We've all done the exact same thing. Yep. <laughs> wow, this is a pretty big uh, area. For a secret area. Do not stand in the poison. Poison Lake. Wow, this is a huge area. <laughs> got stuck or something.
Good lord, this is a huge hidden area. Oh, and another hero, it looks like. Oh, why do I keep hitting my damn map? <laughs> Ow, don't die. Oof. are tough little floating eyeballs. <laughs> okay, run away time. Big boss dude. Oh, there he is. It's like, where is the big boss guy? Okay, runaway time. I can't do that yet. Soul Thief. Runestone of Dreg. Hmm. Alright, throw that in there. Epic one handed sword. Interesting. Common or rare? Common. Get out of that poison.
I think that's as far as I can go there. Let's see. Looks like there's a path up here. Okay, looks like I have explored the entire ginormous, huge hidden area. Wow, that was big. Alright. Back to with what I was doing. A convenient door. Whoa, okay. A lot of bad guys. Oh, and a hero. Okay, run. 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 Can't do that. was close. <laughs> totally thought I was going to screw the breach and kill myself there because of fumbling over buttons and such like I normally do.
All right, moving back through here. Valdis, uh, we're all going to die out here. Calm down, where are you from? I stand with the group of survivors down at Devil's Cross. You need to know the old prison is supply store right though. Okay. Um, I volunteered to go scavenging around Lower Crossing. Figured it was safe enough, but it was I was wrong. I got chased here by a pack of ravenous rift scourges. Thought I, uh, though I can't hear their maddening skittering anymore, I suppose I have to thank you for that. Uh, it doesn't matter though, the area is overrun with the dead. We won't make it five feet without getting surrounded. Um, I suppose we can open a, ri uh, open a rift gate. A what? Isn't that one of those things they are pouring out of? Well, sort of, but mine will take you home. I have a hard time believing that after what I've uh, seen up in Burwich. But you don't seem to have a look of taken about you. I suppose this is my only option. Yes. Let me kick you right through that rift gate back home. <laughs> back to the prison with you. Hooray! Riftgate! Ooh, 
That's a good burst boost to my fire and burn damage. Yep, we're gonna use that on that one. Alright, gotta hang on to that because we need to get that component off there. Hang on to that for the moment so we can get the component off, but we gotta open up the uh, level here. Um, this one looks good too. Yeah, I need to throw some stuff on that as well. Alright, that works. Good use. Waking in misery. Okay, so I just gotta get across over there, which is gonna be this direction. Let's clear out this side first. Yay, aether crystals! Secret cave entrance. Nice. Hop a rift here. Go check out this cave. Hey, Hedda Chicks! The 
The source of the dead is near. You think? Need to go down here so I can get my aether crystals and cleanse this shrine. Well, how convenient. Three aether crystals. comes out at. I think I know where it does come out at. I saw it on the map. It's probably the other location. Nope, same place. Oh, nope, it's a little bit different. Dead attacks have slowed and their numbers are thinning. I take that as a sign that you've dealt with the source? I have killed the reanimator. A creature is doing this? <clears throat> Disturbing. Thanks to your efforts, we may yet hold out here a little longer. I've sent word to the gate guard. Speak to him and he should let you in. Take some well-deserved time to rest and recover. Welcome to Devil's Crossing. Thank you. I need some time to plan our strategy. 
In the meantime, there are others around Devil's Crossing who could use your help. Take a moment to mingle with your fellow survivors. Kasparov, our resident scientist, is really eager to speak with you. He babbled some nonsense, but I believe he wants to talk about your connection with the Ethereals. Barnabas, our handyman, said he needed help with our water pump. When you're done assisting them, speak with me in my office inside the prison. I will speak with them. All right. Armand, are you going, you've been cleaning up out, out there in Lower Crossing. If you're going to keep fighting those bastards, you'll need better equipment than that. Here's something you'll likely never see again in this world, stranger. Something for nothing. Take some iron coin off my hands. I don't need it no more. Why are you helping me? You see, they killed my Annabelle back when the village was first overrun. Ain't nothing gonna bring her back, and if it tries, I'll put a bullet through its skull. I got nothing left but revenge, so I pay good iron to those willing to put down those abominations. Take Pharos, Gilius, and Negan, for instance. Used to all be good men defenders of the Empire, now nothing more than shambling fiends, stuck in the swamplands of Whitemere. Slaughter them. Put them in the dirt like they ought to be, and I'll give you some more iron from my stash. I'll put them down. Okay, go talk to guy out here. Barnabas. Send you over? He must have done quite a service with the dead if he's got hands to spare for old Barnabas. Let's get to business, yeah? Our wind pump's broken down again, and we're running low on water. We're all out of parts, so I can't fix her up. Can always melt down what weapons we have, but I'm not too fond of being devoured in my sleep. I'll need scrap from Lower Crossing. Is this enough scrap? Impressive. We hadn't had much luck scavenging for supplies on account of the dead swarming Lower Crossing. We seem to handle them well enough, though. I'll get the wind pump up and running in no time. Devil's Crossing will have safe drinking water again, and it's all thanks to you. First class is on me. I'm glad I could help. Well, the good news is, I got the water pumping again. The only problem is, it smells like the sewer. <laughs> Maybe about a tenfold worse. Well, I haven't smelled something this rotten since. <laughs> since when? Since I cleared out of Dennis Slith ages ago. There are loathsome reptiles make their homes in swamps and dank caves. They secrete a nasty poison into the water that makes it drinkable for them nearly always fatal to us. I bet good iron there's a nest in that cave that fuels our pump. I'm too old for all this spelunking, so I need you to go down there and kill it. How do I get to the cave? This key will open the cellar in the shack behind me. Right, by right that there! Rift gate. It connects to the bowels of the prison, which should lead you to the cave. Find the Slith matriarch that's like the pollute in our water supply, and the poison should clear out on its own. You do this, and all the Devil's Crossing will be honoring your name with every glass. I'll take care of the slith. Captain said you can. You are good to go. Don't start any trouble. Thank you. Let's go talk to Kasparov real quick. Welcome to my workshop. I saw you fighting the dead out in Lower Crossing, and I dare say you were absolutely brilliant. Evidently, cutting you off that noose was the best decision the captain made that day. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Kasparov, scientist and inventor. What brings you to my humble shop? The captain said you wanted to speak with me. Rift gates, yes. The ethereals use them to get around. I was working on a way to close them, but then you stumbled through ours. We have never seen a human, possessed or otherwise, pass through one before. Not a living one, anyway. It was then that I realized that we could put these portals to use. There is something about you that is attuned to the rift gates, and I intend to replicate it. Wait, I what? You don't remember anything, do you? I may have taken some liberties while you were out cold. It was just a few tests, a blood sample or two, nothing major. The results were curious. It appears that your body is still teeming with residual aether energies. Don't worry, you won't be growing any new limbs, probably. But I'm going on tangents here. 
I believe that, with a correctly tuned pulse of aether energy, we can replicate this phenomenon in a controlled manner, as in without the need for pesky possession. I've been working on just the device to do it, but it needs power. For that, I require aether crystal fragments. Like these? Excellent. These will do perfectly. I'll just place them into my device here, and... Oh my, that's not right. Not at all. That pulse, it wasn't supposed to go off. Oh dear. One, two, three... Yes, my fingers are still <laughs> intact. Did it reach you too? How do you feel? I feel stronger. Ah, very good. I'm sure a little more aether in your system won't do you the slightest harm. Okay, maybe it was a lot more. <laughs> you look fine. Fitter than ever. A real shame about the prototype, though. Showed such promise. Perhaps if I had more fragments. Um, I think we're done here. Ah, we've been so preoccupied with this Riftgate business that I completely forgot about my apprentice, Starlet. I sent her out to the Burwich Estates to fetch parts for our research, and she's been gone entirely too long. Seems her ineptitude carries beyond just the workstation. You lost your apprentice? I have to say, I do feel a little responsible for her now that she's my apprentice. Could you please go out there and find that hopeless girl? I'll keep my eye out. Right. Let's go in here. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff to sell. Come see what's left of my wares. I'll be damned, you really came through for me. The rift took me back to Devil's Crossing, just as you promised. You're welcome. I'd like to thank you. Here, take everything I found out there. It's not much, but maybe you can make some use of it. Thanks. Level 60. I'm sorry to bother you, but if you're heading out towards Whitemire, uh, would you keep an eye out for my brother? Who is he? His name is Milton. Milton Hart. He was a soldier in the Imperial Army. When he, we fled to Burwich, he volunteered to cover our escape. He always had a penchant for heroics, but it has been weeks and we have not heard from him. I dread to think that he may have bec become one of the dead. He always wore an amulet I gave him years ago to keep him safe. Now I fear it may be preserving him in undeath. I wish nothing but, uh, but for my brother to be allowed to rest in peace. Will you do this for me? We last saw each other at the Sodden Hollow in Whitemere, so I'm afraid he's still out there. I will do what must be done. Um, let's see, looking at. Um, Carlisle smuggler.
Okay. And with this, I'm going to take a quick break because, oh man, I need to get some food real quick. Uh, I'm going to take about a 10 minute break and I will be back. Oh, for some more Grim Dawn. <laughs> Let me get my timer set here. All right. I shall return in a little and shortly, not in a little while, shortly. <laughs> 